A Brazilian citizen at the World Cup apparently got his flag confiscated by the Qataris because they thought it was another flag. This is unlike any pride flag I've ever seen. Did one of them receive a new update? This is actually the Brazilian state flag for uh, permanent... Uh, Pernambuco. Yeah, that. I had no idea the country of Brazil had their own state that was basically the Gambia. Kind of flows in just like this river nation in Africa. I don't think I've ever actually seen the Brazilian states before. Some of these have some really strange territorial borders. Like, what is going on with this? Is that the capital? Oh yeah, that is the capital. It's the federal district. I've actually seen the Brazilian country broken down into states because of a couple of games where, like, we break down every nation into states only. Figured the Amazons was number one, but I bet you it has, like, no population in it. Wait, actually, that is way more than I expected. I guess people are there, just everyone is really spread out. Now, if they have a problem with that other flag, just wait till they get a hold of Espirito Santo's flag. It also looks very familiar. And of course, we can't forget about the Jewish Oblast Autonomous State in Russia. There's like some room for interpretation with those other ones, but definitely not with this. A Japanese-owned fruit market in Germany, and they went above and beyond for this one. I mean, I've seen stores like coordinate their products in order to make it look like a flag, but man, the carpet down here to just emphasize the score in the World Cup, those are some nice details. And this is one of those setups that doesn't look too difficult to mess up, like if one person takes one of these, what are those, apples, onions? It's not gonna like throw everything off, you know, that's what I'm trying to say. Now all you need is the Italian flag somewhere hidden, and it's gonna feel like the boys are back in town. In 2020, Greater London changed their flag. These are all the flags Greater London has had since the 60s, this is 100% true and not a joke. So the first flag from 1965 to 1986 looks like a pretty stereotypical like UK flag or just old school European flag. It, it, it's whatever. From 1986 to 2001, they just had nothing or or wait, was this the actual flag? Since 2001 to 2020, they went with a very basic design London. This looks like a weird political ad, but for some reason in the US. I don't think it looks bad though. I, I, I mean, it looks fine. And finally, the most recent update. Um, um, yeah, this looks like a terrible 1980s commercial. Please, I, I know it said in the very beginning that this is not a joke, but please be joking. Okay, luckily Greater London does not currently have an official flag to represent the region. That makes it feel a whole lot better. They also had this former logo for like a year there. This doesn't look that bad. Okay, so this London Earth Everyone Welcome flag was just flown outside of the Greater London Authority. I don't, I don't think that, uh... I don't, I don't know. Okay, so they just like fly random things on, on flagpoles. Just one day they woke up and decided, hey, remember that flag the five-year-old drew on a piece of paper? Let's, let's put that up. So I guess someone designed an English language flag, but it turns out there already is one. And now that you mention it, I feel like I've seen this before. Or maybe it was just this, where just the left side was the US and the right side was the Union Jack. I gotta admit, this is a way more beautiful design. And it is officially in Wikipedia as the English language flag. I just feel like they're missing out on some countries here. I I mean, even this is missing some countries, but you know, I mean, I feel like Canada and Australia should get some recognition. It might be a little bit harder to do it for the English language, but a Portuguese language flag is probably something they're going to want to design. I mean, though there are many countries around the world that speak Portuguese, there's really only two that comes to most people's minds. That would at least help to eliminate some awkward situations like this when the Brazilian flag has to be used for Portuguese. The flag of Genicio. Yep, it's real. I... I... Uh, I'm just at a loss for words. Did this man just take a picture of himself in front of all these cattle and was like, all right, that's what we use as the flag. I mean, like, it's a cool picture. I actually really like it as a picture, but like, as a flag? I gotta give him credit though. They do actually fly this monstrosity outside. It looks so hilarious with the Kansas and US flag right beside it. I actually had to make sure this wasn't photoshopped. This actually doesn't even feel real. And it might be a colorized version of this old picture taken in 1903. When did they colorize it? Cause I just imagine they like did this in the eighties or something. Love that it's smack dab right in the middle of the entire state. And there it is too. No, this is officially the flag. I like how the vexology it Wikipedia page talks about this flag and just says, that's it. Do I need to say anything else about this flag? This flag makes me want to stick forks in my eyes. Apparently things like this have been done before by Rhode Island. I gotta admit, I feel like I prefer this one, maybe. There's also Moncton, Vermont with, um, with, with this. I don't know what this is. I'm just trying to find out the history behind when they decided to choose this. Is it safe to say it had to have been relatively recent since they had to colorize the photo? And that would make this whole thing 10 times worse. Seems like they're using correct flag proportions for each matchup. Let's see if they can keep this up. I guess Qatar in the World Cup is going above and beyond. Or maybe it's just for their own flag they're going above and beyond. I'll believe it when I see the Swiss flag properly portrayed as one by one. I gotta admit, I feel like this would be a lot of unnecessary work. 
work for the graphics team. Randomly came across the Bangladesh Air Force flag and can't help but laugh uncontrollably. I kind of just figured they would do something a bit more... I don't know, original. To be fair, the crest of the Bangladesh Air Force looks amazing. Yeah, of all colors, why blue? Well, it's Air Force. It's probably supposed to be the sky. Man, why does this look so bad, though? I feel like part of the reason is, like, whoever designs these flags really wasn't expecting us to come and just, like, clown on them all day. Like, who honestly could have expected this? No one thought we were actually going to review their work. It seems like they were trying to take a page out of the British Air Force flag, which makes sense. The British ruled over Bangladesh for a little bit there. This is now making me want to look up how powerful the Bangladesh Air Force forces. Apparently they have at least some planes given by Russia and China. What if the Baltic countries were Nordic? And let's just get this out of the way. This is the one thing that's keeping them out of the Nordics. This is literally the most important thing. Nothing else matters. I'm pretty sure like a random nation in Africa could change their flag to look something like this and they'll be considered honorary Nordic. Greenland doesn't count because it's underneath Denmark. I think far and away the one that looks the best here has got to be Estonia. But considering Latvia only has two colors, it's kind of difficult to make this work. I feel like I would have liked it more if Latvia had some like this. But the way it doesn't look bad, it just feels odd. Estonia is the closest one anyways to joining this exclusive club, so they know what they gotta do. Change your flag tomorrow and it's all good. Which former flags do you find better than the modern ones? Oh, this is gonna be good. I think I do remember seeing this old Portuguese flag at one point. I, I gotta agree. I mean, it's weird to imagine Portugal without green, and I usually love green and orange and flags just because it tends to be a little bit more different. But man, this design is just so clean and sleek, fresh. They had this thing between 1830 and 1910 almost a hundred years. I don't mind the one they have that's kind of left aligned, but I did think I preferred the center one. Wait, so the Portuguese have only had this flag for about 110 years? Why did I feel like that was so much older? I'm really curious why they decided to add green when they literally never had green before, at least in the background. They had it sparsely in, in the uh, coat of arms. I guess they were just sick of seeing all the red, white, and blue flags. Another comment about original flags being better than the new ones. Yes, the orange Netherlands flag, it always hurts my soul. Like, I'm sorry, this will just always be the Dutch flag to me. It's too bad it's like controversial now. It's why New York City's flag is like this. I've always liked this flag too. It's just a nice old reference to New Amsterdam. The flag of the second Spanish Republic for that sweet, sweet purple. What is this? Oh, that's right. This is a unique one. They had this from 1931 to 1939. I don't know if it's like the best thing ever, but they definitely deserve some extra points for including purple. Maine used to have a flag that wasn't state seal on blue background. Anything but that. Literally anything. Yeah, okay, I'm fine with that. I mean, like I said, anything. I don't know if the star is necessary, but, um, I don't care. I'll take it. Just not this blue background. Okay, yeah, that was what I was hoping, like a modern version of the tree. I like this. Oh, there it is. The Austro-Hungarian Empire flag. The problem with this one is it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to update than the rest of them. You're gonna kinda have to bring this whole thing back again, and I'm not sure if everyone here is gonna wanna do that. Maybe you could just have Austria and Hungary unite today. That'd be a little simpler. But then again, probably not. You'd probably have an equal chance making the Australian-Hungary Empire become a thing. USA Betsy Ross variant? Oh, the first flag we ever had. Yeah, um, does that mean we're gonna have to drop a few states to do this? And we don't have to, really. We could just change the meaning for the stars. The stars no longer represent the states. 13 stars now represent the 13... Um, I don't know. Let's just make something up. Ooh, Imperial Germany. That black, white, and red. I'm going to assume they probably can never bring this one back, right? I mean, they definitely used it for WWE 1. I'm just going to assume that they probably can never bring this one back. I mean, I guess it still has a better chance than that other German flag, though. That one doesn't even look good. Oh, and then there's the Italian one. Um, the, the, the monarchy. The monarchy one, not the other fascist one. I got the crown up there and everything. Although it does look like there's like a mini Denmark hidden inside there. I'm ready to explore with their Legos. Which one of these is not like the other? Dun 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 dun. Tacadilla Lopez. And we've got some flags on this side. We have the USA flag, the Mexico flag, a couple of Central American flags, and then yeah. Okay, wait a second. I'm just trying to figure out what this person was going for, and also which flag did he use? Romania or Chad? Maybe I could see this being a joke, like a, a Chad joke. Like these are clearly some Giga Chad tacos. Or maybe someone that works for this business is Romanian? There's also a chance of that. That's really my only two explanations. Or wait, no, maybe he was trying to use Colombia, Ecuador, or Venezuela. Maybe he thought the Chad or Romanian flag was like a combination of all three of them because they all have like similar backgrounds, all formerly a part of Grand Colombia. I mean, I can maybe understand how this mistake could be made. Flags I see being flown at my public college in Colorado. I'm very curious what kind of flags they have in the U.S. state of Colorado. All right, unsurprisingly, a U.S. flag, the Don't Tread on Me flag, Thin Blue Line flag, the Better Call Saul flag, a Vietnam flag, 
flag. A Colorado State flag. Not surprised to see a couple Texans there too. A no step on snake flag. A couple of pride flags. The Australian flag. It is a public college. Maybe there's like a couple Aussies there. Is this the anarchy flag or wasn't there an old nation in history that used this as like a placeholder for a second? Flavor Town. Trans flag. I don't know if I'm allowed to show the no no American flag. Okay, again, some international students. A Mexico pride flag. Another pride flag. Hawaii. And okay, this was a very random assortment of flags. Colorado seems to be all over the place. I'm just really glad to see another fellow citizen from Flavortown. Flags I saw on my way to university by bicycle. Let's see if we can find out where this person's from. We have 27 Ukrainian flags, three American flags, one Union Jack, lots of pride. We have one Japan, three Denmark, two Swiss. We have two Berliners. Okay, it's safe to say probably not going to put the Berlin flag somewhere out there. Probably in Berlin, Germany. 16 Poland. That's a lot. 26 EU flags and 11 Germany. Plus, uh, there's the old school, the, well, the Holy Roman Empire one. The, yeah, four French. Yeah, they're definitely in Berlin, Germany. We have uh, four Turk flags, one Soviet Union, one Serbian, Israel. Uh, there, there's there's a lot. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Crazy how the Burger King flag outnumbered the USA flags. Ukraine and EU flag. This, yeah, this is definitely, there's just so many different variety of flags here. Spain, I'm not sure what this one is. This has got to be the most amount I, I've seen. Like, did you have to ride your bike across the country to get to the university? And big thanks to my patrons. Drew, I'm stalking you and will kidnap you December 27th, 2022. DJ McSkillet. Uh, fat Norwell. Drew's Argentinian $20 grandpa. $20 is a lot to bring fan, back Evan Poland Price. Good old Ryan. Isaac Kilgore is dead. Noah Gamer. Biotic. Biotic. Orton 69, 5, 6, Patrick. Fresh. Alex. Robert Eames. Scottish Token. The Polish. The Mexican. Twicken Hamster. And why am I doing this?